were you? Wait. Not important. You're new, and not a statue. I can use that. Ah, yes, uh, I did it. I turned them to stone, but for a good reason. It was the only way to protect them from the savage beasts. The animals here are normally very tame. Energies in the wood. Now they're vile and bloodthirsty. I believe they've been possessed by Daedra. I lost some of my apprentices to the beasts, so when I made it back to town, I cast a spell that would protect everyone. It was the only way. As long as those creatures prowl the woods, we're in danger. I believe the monoliths in the woods have something to do with the Daedric influence. Dispel their energies. Hopefully that will free the animals. When the Daedric influence is gone, it should be safe to restore the village. My poor neighbors. I don't know. I don't know. The beasts are insidious, and we Altmer never bargain with Daedra. To even consider summoning one of those monsters, it'd be inviting a death sentence. The Atronachs, at least. They're more constructs than... No, a death sentence. They're ancient. I've studied them for years in my spare time. Not even really sure who put them up. But I'm certain they're why the local creatures are normally so docile. Ah, yes. I theorize that wherever the Daedra came from, they're somehow polluting the energy of these monoliths. Dispel that energy and, I hope, the Daedra will become powerless. <laughs> Sense the field disperse. I would speak with you. <laughs> the energy subsides, but the animals are still savage monsters. We'll have to try something else. We need a bear. I've spent some time studying these monoliths. I've managed to create a little magical fob that imitates their energy. Essentially, it will make one of the Earth signs your furry friend. For a time. I need to... We need to extract the Daedric energy from these beasts. To do that, we'll need a test subject. You'll have to rough the furry fellow up a bit first. Weaken him for the spell to work. Meet me at my tower with your friend. Just follow the road through the grove.
That was a bit of a warm up. Ah, good. Now let's see if I can banish the Daedric influence from this creature. This will not do. Something here is very wrong. A flame, Atronach. My spell should have sent it screaming back to oblivion. But something else interfered. There's a powerful Daedra nearby. I know it now. You have to kill it. A moment. I can feel something. There's a cave north of here. Whatever this monster is, dispatch it, and we can return the grove to peace. I should have joined the buoyant homages. Stay back. This cave is filled with Daedra. Merormo leaves me here to die. And he doesn't even mention me? Stars take him. I'll kill that traitor twice. This debacle is all Merormo's fault. These beasts, controlled by Daedra? All his idea. He was trying to create animal soldiers, fanged shock troops with the ability to reason. No, it hasn't. Look, whatever's actually controlling these things, I think it's at the bottom of the cave. I'm very woozy. Blood loss. I'll stay here, try to stay conscious. Yeah. 
I heard. I heard the battle. Impressive. I assume you won. Stars, yes. Let's get that bastard. Maromo needs to pay for what he's done here. I... I'll, uh, uh... Of course. Good. Now to make sure you don't teleport away. Listen, you can't tell the Cannon Reeve. She'll kill me. I'm not. I'm not joking. She'll have me put to a blade. My nephew, Yander, went off to join the fighting and... Damn it, I just wanted to stop spending our blood. My sister will never be the same. It's not just the Daedra. It's the monoliths. I've studied them for years, worked out how the magics pacify the beasts. But that's all the magic does. It turns beasts into mewling pets, not combat troops. Yes. The Flame Atronachs are essentially just raw Daedric energy given form. I summon some, hold them down, and pour them into the monoliths. That creature in the cave was not in the plan. What? What just happened? He did what? Why would he do that? What? Do you have any idea of the seriousness of this accusation? I can't believe that little fool. With the Queen traveling the countryside? Do you have any idea what could happen if word that the Grove Trucks with Daedra gets out? If this is true, Maromo must die. Certainly Maromo. likes a quick study. For your crimes against the laws of the Almeri Dominion and nature herself, you are hereby sentenced to death. God! As you ordered, Canon Reeve. I don't want to die. Justice is done. 